Divas and Devos, it's me, Just Landa, and I. So I'm going to hurry up and push this out because it is in the year. This is going to be like my, you know, look like an effort. Look like you did some effort look for New Year. Just in case if you want to FaceTime somebody or you're doing a Zoom chat, like it didn't take me long to put this face on at all. Um, but I did show you like my three color, well, two other color powders that I like to use. And you'll be surprised on the color number that I chose. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful fake thing first. Alright, so I got my um, concealer on. I'm using, um, what color am I using? I'm using Fenty 390 just to as concealer as a base I'm going to be using three palettes you don't have to but I'm figuring it's going to work out that way <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek Quad in what is this chocolate or truffle chocolate chocolates And the Mothership palette, what is this? Eight, nine, I don't know. So, um, for more backdrop. What I want to do is go into this pinky color here. Nope. The pink color. Right there. And start using that on top of my transition. Because it's a New Year's um, look. So. We'll see and I don't want to use like the traditional colors I just do want to do something really cute I'm gonna go in with this brownie color here and go on top of that as well just a little bit lower same brush and what I'm doing is basically making that more of a matte than a shiny color I want to take the burgundy color out of this palette here and put that on the outer V. And put that on the inner V as well. And then I'm just blending out the harshness with whatever is remaining. I want to take this sherbet looking color here and put that all over the lid. go in with this color here and I'm just going to flip the brush over and put it directly in the center okay so this is my favorite powder one of my favorite powders to use it's in here it's close by um, it's born this Too Faced born this way in the color chai love this color 
but also like Sephora's Deep number 60. It's the big one that looks like this. Crap. Well, that's different. And if we look at these two, they look quite similar. So, yeah. But then I all I purchased. So this is free eighty. Typically, when I use powders, I normally use powders with foundation. Um, but I'm gonna try something new today. I'm not gonna use foundation i'm just going to use this as a foundation because that's what you can do you can use it as a foundation um i just stopped doing that so i'm going to swatch all three colors so we're going to put chai right here so you can see it and i'm going to build it up some so you can see it on the face so that's chai. This is the color 380, right? Yep. And then this is the color deep. So if you look at it, they all have like almost the same undertone ish. This chai is actually darker, which I'm kind of surprised because normally. But again, I always wear it with <laughs> with foundation, so I do, and I use a fluffy powder, so I never really looked at it. But and I like to try to match like my chest and stuff and balance myself. So this shall be interesting. Um, so I'm gonna take that off and moisturize my face just a little bit. All right. All right, so I'm gonna use this dense brush from Makeup Shack. It's the T40 brush. So it's definitely more red than what I'm used to, at least that I think I'm used to. Um, I don't think this is full coverage. I think this is more like light to medium coverage because I can still see my beauty mark here. It's matte, that's for sure. Gosh, I'm looking pepper dry. Ugh. Okay, my face looks really matte and dry even with the moisturizer on. I'm trying to see what I feel about it because I feel like I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and use it the way I normally use it because it's way too dry. 
um, it's way too matte for my liking. Maybe if I want to spray my brush with something liquidy, it wouldn't be looking as dry, but I don't like it on me. But this is 380. Look at it. Like, it looks good. Three eighty. Go figure, Roy. Huh? Huh? Let me let me put on a foundation and everything else, and then we'll do the buffing technique. Okay, so I've powder contour. I put my foundation on. And the powder, I'm going to use this powder and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This is the one from um, Makeup Forever. And I only set um, my high point. So this, I didn't even set my nose actually, underneath my eyes. I think I might have set my chin with the honey powder from, from Fenty. So I'm just going to go and start blending out and see how soft of a look we're going to get. I love this brush. I love fluffy brushes. Like, yeah. So for what I would use it for, I like it. I think it's cute. I just think it's too dry for my face. I'm actually going to spray my face once I um, do everything else. So, yeah. It, it did blend in everything. There's no harsh lines or anything like that. And maybe I should have put some harsh lines just to see if it would have popped. But I didn't. So, um, yeah. Um, I do have No Shame by Colourpop, which is like a plummy, darky, dark purple colour underneath my eyes um, in my waterline. So I just want to go in with, just going to go in with this plummy colour here and just put that underneath my eyes. And with that pinky color, I'm going to go with that pinky and that dark, dark, um, mauve color and try to soften it up some more. I want to put this as a highlighter underneath my brow. Hopefully that won't be a wrong choice. This is the wrong type of brush. Okay, and for the inner tear duct, let's go in with this golden color. So, yeah, I am going to put on the rest of my face, throw on some lashes, throw on some red brows, and um, a lippy and stuff, we'll come back and talk. Alrighty, these are because this is the finished look on my face. I actually have on an OD from Bobby Brown. It is the Luminous Moisturizing Treatment Foundation in the color 6.5. Um, the concealer was um, Fenty Beauty um, 380 and then I topped it off with Juice Clay from 16. I did set underneath my eyes with the color Honey from Fenty. Um, the highlighter is actually from the palette here. So I mixed this color and this color together to get that highlighter. The lippy is, um, so the lip liner is um, Makeup Forever. I believe it's number 24. It is 24. The 
the lipstick is Juvia's Place, um, hashtag 2020. And I topped it off with Juvia's Place, so glazed. Um, I did use blush, um, which was out of my Lipton palette, and it's just um, this this color, this color, and this color. So this is just a quick little look for New Year's. Like you may not really be going anywhere, but you want to look like you're going away somewhere you want to look like something um just something a little grim but no more than grimness you know what i'm saying look like you put effort into it that's what it is it's a look like you put effort into your look um quick easy you saw how simple it was um but let's get into fenty powder okay so my color is fenty shade it's actually Like I said, when I went there and we were, the associate and I was sitting there going back and forth with all the colors, the two colors that I had in mind was 410 and 420, okay? What I did was instead of shade matching with Fenty Beauty, I shade matched with Anastasia Foundation and I go between 470C and 480C. Depending on how I want to look, okay? Depending on how I want to look is basically, and it, to me, one is just a smidge darker than the other. That's it. But just like, um, like Julius Place, Gabbana, and uh, Burkina, I prefer one over the other. Right now, I don't know which one I prefer over the other because it's, I, I really don't. It, it just doesn't really bother me either way or day. So um, I shade matched it with that. So we just went on a limb because looking at it and I wish I had videotaped it. It looks so light, but it does oxidize because there's no drying down. It's already drying. You saw it in my face, it was already dry. There's no drying down. Oh, and by the way, I did spray my face with um, Pixie Vitamin Wake Up Mist spray because I broke the bottle from the Fenty and I put it in my MAC bottle and my MAC bottle is acting up so so going out on the lip we we were just looking at all sorts of shades and looking at other tones and if I'm not mistaken 380 is still has like that undertone. Funny enough, my concealer under my eye is 390. And that's probably why I like to always bump it up with something because it's not light enough. But it is what it is. Um, so for people that do the bottom techniques like me, I think it might be a tad bit too dry. I'm going to try it out again. Like it's, like it's a good don't get me wrong, it's a good match. It's just really, really matte. Um, maybe in the summertime, if we ever go back outside again, it'll do it for me. Um, because, you know, I get a bit sweat and stuff like that. But right now, I like the color. I definitely like the color. I'm not so keen on the formula. That's all. Um, because it is matte. So maybe I can try, instead of just using like a moisturizer, and the only moisturizer that I used was the Fix Studio moisturizer on my face. Um, maybe I'll just go in and use it like how I normally use like my base powders, MAC, um, way back when I used to use just powder foundation. I would spray my brush with um, Fix Plus and um, put the powder on that way. So maybe I'll try that. But yeah, that's my little quick review. Happy New Year's. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is really good. 2020, 2020 was a time. It is a year of reflecting. It really was a year of reflecting. 
and see letting people know who people really 